Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel! Hi! So, a few weeks ago, I did a Louis Vuitton customization video and it looks like a lot of you guys liked it. If you guys haven't checked it yet, please check it out. But since I got so... <clears throat> since I got so many requests to do another video, I went and bought another Louis Vuitton bag. It's actually already customized. You could kind of tell that I was painting, so I can't show you how it looks now. But to make things clear, please let me explain that I got a very old Louis Vuitton bag. All the bags that I've been remaking on this channel, at least so far, has been all these used, very old bags that's sold for like $10. The bags that I buy are very old and dirty to the point that they're unrepairable. Just making things clear. Anyways, I had a lot of fun remaking the bag and I hope you guys like this video. So without further ado, customizing a Louis Vuitton bag. Let's get started. First off, let me show you how the bag used to look like. At first glance, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's very dirty and kind of dull. There's discoloration everywhere, and if you've seen a Louis Vuitton bag before, you can tell that the color is kind of off, like it's darker than usual, probably because of all the dirt that it picked up. And the sides, oh my gosh, totally unrepairable. The painting is flaking off and one side is a lot more yellow than the other side. And it looks like this all the way around. And the zipper. Oh my gosh. The zipper works but the handle thing came off. Which is kind of of a bummer because the zipper has the Louis Vuitton logo. And that's kind of what's important with luxury brands. To have that logo. I mean it still works but it's very hard to pull on it. That kind of speaks for itself why it's so cheap. Now let's check the inside. I'm not gonna do anything in the inside very much because you can't really see it anyways, but it's very, very dirty. And I know you can't smell it, but you should be happy you can't smell it because the fume, <laughs> oh my gosh, the stench is so strong. So first thing first, before anything, I gotta clean this bag. I just got some cleaning solution with a normal kitchen wipe. And after just like a few wipes, Oh my gosh, I knew it was dirty, but like not to this extent. By the way, I was curious, so I actually asked someone how much it would cost if I brought it to a store to repair it for me. I know it would differ from place, and since I have subscribers all over the world, I'm sure it would be different in different countries, but when I looked it up, apparently it would cost a few thousand dollars. Apparently, it cost a few hundred dollars to replace one single part, like the zipper cost two hundred dollars, the pocket cost four hundred dollars, and etc. So if you want to repair the whole bag, it becomes very expensive. I know some people have commented that they would rather have it repaired for my last video, but at this point, I feel like normally people would go for a new one or even just a used one that's just a lot cleaner, I guess. But that's just my opinion. Anyways, after a few hours of using several wipes, I think we're ready to customize. So, how to customize this bag? Let me get some red, a little bit of black, some yellow, and mix it all together. I'm trying to recreate the brown for the rims. Why is it so mesmerizing just looking at paint getting mixed? But see, I'm trying to get this color, so I think it's a little bit too dark. Let me add a little bit of white and a pinch of yellow. No, that turned out a little bit too yellow. Maybe a hint of red? Okay, let me swipe it on to color check. Not bad. It's on the right path. Probably a little bit too dark. So I added a little bit more white and red to make it perfect. And I didn't record it, but I decided to fill up the bag with rice. I have an abundant amount of old white rice that I use for crafting and also for drying my laptop because I stupidly poured ramen soup all over. Which is another story I'll tell you guys another day. I put rice in the bag to kind of puff it up a little because I needed a good solid base to paint on. So let's start painting the bag. I was kind of skeptical about this technique first, but it actually worked pretty well. Some parts were covered up so nicely you can't even tell. But some parts, like it didn't turn out perfect where the paint was kind of flaking off. But overall, this made the bag look so much better. And moving on, I decided to draw a squirrel. For my last Louis Vuitton bag, I made it look very cartoonish. 
but this time I decided to go for a more realistic approach. Not too realistic, but like semi-realistic. I just think squirrels are not too cute sometimes. They are cute, but like if you see a real squirrel in real life, they could be a little scary sometimes. I wanted to make it look more cutesy, a tad a bit cartoonish, with a big head and big round eyes. So a semi-realistic art is what I'm going for today. And let me use a hair dryer in between to speed dry. And let's go in with more paint. Oh, by the way, I didn't like the proportions a little bit, so I kind of wiped it off with alcohol. You can kind of rub it off if the paint is still fresh. By the way, I have some questions from you guys to answer from my last video. A lot of you guys asked for a Q&A, but since I probably won't make a dedicated video for just Q&A, I decided to answer some questions here and there, like right now, in some videos. So if you guys have any questions, please comment below. Okay, so what did I get? Question number one. When did I start drawing? I think I've been drawing my whole life. Like, I've been drawing ever since I could hold a pencil. In fact, my favorite activity to do in kindergarten was to draw. And I remember all the art supplies were in the highest shelf and I couldn't reach it. So I had to ask someone to get it for me every single time. But I've never studied art. I've never really went to art school. So if you're asking me when I studied art, then the answer is never. I'm just a self-taught artist. Okay, next question. What's your favorite anime? <gasps> that is a very hard question. Oh, wait, wait, the eyes. This is my favorite part in any drawings. It's like you bring the life into art. And like I said before, I wanted to make the eyes really big and round to make it look cutesy and cartoonish. I also tried to add in whiskers, but the lines didn't turn out too well, so I painted over it. Okay, so back to the question, what is my favorite anime? Okay, this is hard, but Code Geass and Steins Gate are the best animes ever. Hands down. At this point, I felt like the squirrel was a little too subtle. In this camera, you can see it quite well. But in real life with normal lighting, it kind of blends in too well with the background. So I decided to add some yellow and lighter colors to make it stand out more. But then the yellow kind of ruined it, so I went back and added different colors. I'm just building up colors and playing around to see what works best. The good thing about the paint I'm using today, which is called Angelus, Angelus, Angelus. It's paint for leathered items. The colors are a bit sheer, so you need to build it up, but it dries so thin and flexible that it won't clump up. What paint to use is so important because if you use normal acrylic paint, it could bunch up and crackle up later. So never use acrylic paint for leathered items or fabric. And the last question for today, why did I move to Japan? I came here for college, but also because I wanted to become a manga artist. But I ended up being a YouTuber. I still would like to make manga someday. Maybe? Maybe? It's been my dream since I was a little girl. And don't you say I'm still a little girl because I'm 4 foot 10 or 145 centimeters? But I do like what I'm doing right now, so we'll see. Okay, so my squirrel is complete. And I kind of wanted to balance it out by adding something on the left upper hand corner. At first, I wanted to draw some acorns, but I felt like that would make the whole bag a little bit dull. So I wanted to add something that was red. Maybe like a strawberry? Okay, maybe no. How about two strawberries? I think that's kind of cute, right? So two strawberries it is. And like I said before, I wanted to make it semi-realistic to kind of match the vibe with the squirrel. Not too realistic, a little cartoonish, but kind of real. To be honest, I wasn't sure if the strawberries were turning out okay. Like, look at them right now. They look like cherries. I honestly don't think I've ever painted strawberries before in my life because I'm more of a digital person and not like a painter, but I decided to fight for it. I knew that I was the only person to change this and make it happen. If I give up, then it's over. Okay, this is what I believe in. I think patience is the most important quality you need to have as an artist. It's not about if you have the right technique or if you're good at art or not. 
It's about giving up or not. It's about trying and trying until it turns out how you want it to turn out. And it takes patience to get to that point. Anyways, while I was like half, uh, uh, not sure if this is turning out okay, I was determined to continue until I was satisfied. After a whole day and a lot of struggling, this is how it turned out. Ta-da! What do you guys think? I actually really like it and I think it turned out so cute. I also like how the sides turned out. I mean, it's not like the perfect sides ever, but cute back to how it used to look like. I mean, it looks so clean now. I like it. I'm going to finish it up by adding this chain. Apparently the chain broke off. That's one of the reasons why it was so cheap. And ta-da! Let me try it on and how does it look? Oh, it's actually so, so cute. Ooh. I know my design isn't for everyone because I like to make things very cutesy, but I really like how it turned out. Anyways, I had a lot of fun, and if I find another Louis Vuitton bag for real cheap, I may try it again. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!